नीवाहंग जातुनाशम नंग नेमे जनाधिपा न चीव न भविष्याम सर्वे भयम अतपर कृष्ण सेज दैट न तो एव अहम न तम न इमे जनाधि either i or you or all these people who have assembled here in this battlefield janadhipa kings in the battlefield janadhipa they are not ordinary men now in the battle fail the poor mercenaries they go to give their life whereas the janadhipa the leaders of the people they sit down very comfortably they do not go to the battle they simply give order in writing and the poor mercenaries paid soldiers that paid for giving their life <clears throat> money is so sweet that one is prepared to give his life for money such men are sent to the war field uh, and the janadhipa they are after also money but they carefully avoid the battle uh, minister of defense paras he has never seen a battle field minister of defense formally it was not like that when there was fight because they are chhatriyas Satriyas, they will never go back from fighting. Juddhe cha palayanam. That is the symptom of satriya. When there is fight, they will come forward first. Shodja, teja, bijam, juddhe cha palayanam, isra bhavancha. Dhananj. Satyas means that very powerful, strong, and when there is fight, a satya, if he is challenged by somebody that I want to fight with him, he cannot deny. Yes. Uh, what kind of fight you want? Uh, bows, arrows, or club? or sword anyway they will fight and fight means uh, un- until one is dead the fight will go on. that is fight when krishna and arjun and bhim went to jarasandha jarasandha was very powerful king So before Maharaj Yudhishthir is becoming the emperor, uh, it was the system that all the other kings within this world they must submit, either submit or fight. So Krishna uh, and uh, Arjun and Bhim went to Jarasandha. He was very charitable to the Brahmins, and these three persons went there, dressing themselves as poor Brahmins. So, in the assembly, they begged from Jarasandha 
सर वी हैव कम टू बेग फ्रॉम यू फॉर फाइट कृष्णा टू से आदर सोल्जर्स ये एडवाइज दैट लेट एस फाइट विथ जरासंद एलॉन वाई ही शुड अननेसेसरीली ब्रिंग सो मेनी सोल्जर्स and we have to also why this poor soldiers will give life better go let us individually fight so jarasand could understand that they are chhatriyas they have come in the dress of a brahmana to beg because chhatriya cannot beg so He accepted. Yes. Then he selected Bhim to fight with him. He rejected Arjun and Krishna also. That he was not fit for fighting with me. So there was fighting on twenty-eight days. The uh, fighting was going on from morning to evening. And at night they were friends. Uh, Bhima, or John, and Krishna was a guest. Uh, he received them as guests. They were eating together, talking together. In the morning again fight. This is Kaktiya. The sport, sporting, but the, that sporting was meant for uh, until one dies. The fighting is gone. So, jyoti cha palayanam. This is the qualification of Kshatriya. Uh, so here it is said, uh, Krishna, Krishna is chariot driver of Arjun. So he says. Janadipa. There are many kings, different parts of the world. They join. Janadipa, the leaders, when there is fight, the leaders must come forward. And as soon as the leaders are killed, then it is victory. Not by killing the soldiers or common man by atomic bomb. No. That was not fighting. <coughs> so Krishna says, "The Nathuri Eva Aham." Krishna is individual person. God is person also. Bhakti, the one who does not know what is God. They think impersonally, but God is person. Krishna, the supreme personality of Godhead, he appeared upon this earth as person, as the son of Vasudev. He acted as person. The original God is person, not impersonal. Imperson is a feature, just like this sun sign. This is the imperson, but the sun sign is coming from the sun glow. Uh, that is a local place, and within the sun glow there is sun god. His person is not imperson. Similarly. The impersonal feature, Brahmeti, Paramatmeti, Bhagwani, the Sabdate, absolute truth. The imperson is a feature of God, Angojuti, just subprabha prabhavatu jagadanna koti. It is if bodily rays, impersonal Brahma, but God is person. He is here. He says. That natu eva ahong ahong means I am person. Jatu at any time nasa we are not annihilated. Not 
true, uh, not strong. You are also not an healer because Arjuna is Jiva and Krishna is God. So both of them are existing, part and parcel. Uh, just like this sun sign. What is the sun sign? It's very small atomic particles of shining material. This is sun sign combined together. Similarly, we are also a small particle uh, of the rays, bodily rays of God. We are living entities, uh, very minute part. So we are also individual, and God is also individual, person. And all the kings or the soldiers assemble, they are also individual. So this individuality is never lost. Krishna says that at present, we are individuals, and in the past we are individuals. Then one may say in the future we may become one amalgamated, as the Mahabadi philosopher says that as soon as we become liberated, we become one with the Absolute. No, that is not fair. Here it is say, na cha eva na bhavishya. It is not that in future we shall not remain individual. We shall remain individual. No bhavishama, no. Two negatives makes one positive. That means in the future also we shall exist as individual. Na cha eva na bhavishyama. Sarve, all of us, all means, Krishna says, I, you, and all the other peoples, kings and soldiers, we shall remain as individuals. Then where is oneness? This Mahavadi theory that uh, after liberation we shall all become one with God, that is not mentioned here. Uh, this is bogus theory. Uh, real that we remain individual, uh, so long we are not in a position to act, means so long, just like ghost. Ghost is also individual, but because the ghost does not get this material body, they are invisible. They create disturbance for want of this body. Uh, those who have got experience of ghost in some house, the ghost is there, his individual soul, but because he hasn't got this material covering, that is a punishment. But the most sinful person, that is a punishment, that he does not get this body, although he wants this body, because for enjoyment we want this body. Body is the combination of senses in instrument. Uh, if I want to touch you, I require hand, and through hand I feel the pleasure of touching you. <coughs> so the ghost want to touch, but he hasn't got the instrument. That is ghost. But there are ghosts. It is not fictitious. It is a fact. Ghost means without this material body. So, uh, so long we are materially contaminated, we require this material body for enjoying senses. Uh, as a spiritual world, uh, we get our spiritual body developed. Uh, so there is no question of uh, becoming ghost or in the way. That is, the person is always existing. Uh, that is the purpose of this verse. 
न चैव न भविष्याम सर्वी वयम अतपरम अतपरम आफ्टर दिस वेन आफ्टर दिस बॉडी इज एंडेड द इंडिविजुअलिटी कंटिन्यूज सिंपली वी चेंज आवर बॉडी दिस इज द भर्सन एंड इट इज एक्सप्लेन इन द नेक्स्ट भर्स देहीन अस्मिन जथा देही कौमान जो जरा तथा देहांतर प्राप्ति वी आर इंडिविजुअल ऑलवेज बट वी आर चेंजिंग दिस बॉडी फ्रॉम वन टाइप ऑफ बॉडी टू अनदर बॉडी अकॉर्डिंग टू आवर कर्म कर्मना दैव नेत्री न जंतल देह अपपत्ति बाय सुपीरियर examination we get a body karmana so at the time of death uh, it is decided what kind of body you are going to have next uh, that is decided by superior authority uh, you cannot dictate that give me this body I, or i don't want this body i want a body no that is not in your hand you can do you are given freedom uh the, the human form of life you are given freedom to act although there is direction that you act like this but if you don't like you can act jathe chasi tatha kuru you can act but you become implicated with your karma hmm. because you have to act according to the modes of nature the modes of nature are three sadagun rajagun tamagun so if you act uh, in the sadagun then you will be promoted to the higher planetary system urdhang gachanti satvasva if you act in the rajagun then madhya tishtanti rajasa and if you act in tamagun uh, then jaghanna guna vittishta adhogachanti tamasa jaghanna tamasa means very abominable activities uh, the other day i was speaking i saw one gentleman indian gentleman he was eating the intestines of hogs in the airplane that is very palatable they say tama mos tama hog the stool eater and eats intestine that is cooked and he is eating how much tama go jaghanna jaghanna guna vitti very i am in over so next life he is going to be a hog huh? this is going on uh, we are in this material nature purusha prakriti sthopi bhumti prakriti jan guna we are in this material world according to our association in different modes of nature uh, we are Uh, making one type of mentality and at the time of death that mental uh, position is responsible for carrying me in a different type of body in this way uh, we are changing body one after another so we are spirit soul Uh, this is the chance of rectifying or purifying our existence if you like we can purify our existence in this human form of life this krishna consciousness moment means to purify the existence and after death tapta de hang punar janma nahi if you become perfect in krishna consciousness means he understand krishna janma karma chhu me dibbam jo jana 
simply by understanding and acting accordingly, you can purify your existence and next life means after giving up this body. This body we have to give up. But those who are not purifying the existence, they will accept another material body. And those who have purified the existence, they will go back home, back to God. Thank you. Josh.